Hey guys, this is BV19 for the uh, how to design build a custom flying V using Stuart McDonald templates and uh, I'm going to do a very short video here basically just to update uh, the progress or you know to, to bring it current. Uh, that's just a piece of paper but uh, I'll talk about that in a little while. I shot about um, Five more, five more coats of this clear. I started doing clear coat building because I had buffed the uh, black down to the point to where uh, I really had it where I wanted it. And uh, still, I'm not going to say it's rough. It's just uh, these are these are build coats where you're building up the clear coat. And uh, I shot um, the first coat and then I sanded it with uh, 220, knocked off the edge shot another couple of coats, let it kind of melt together, and then um, sh uh, hit that with some 400, and then uh, shot it with a coat of uh, about 70% nitrocellulose lacquer and about 30% lacquer thinner. So it was very wet, and it just melted into the, the top. This is still not the finished guitar. Uh, what I'm saying is I'm just I'm building coats up so that two to three days from now, when I get ready to ship the guitar, uh, I'll be able to do that final buff sanding. But when you're doing when you're doing a nitro cellulose lacquer, you after you do your final coat, you really need to wait about uh, about a month to six weeks before you uh, pull out the buffing machine. Now, if you wanted to wax it by hand with like a McGuire's and you know, wet sand it and stuff like that, you could probably do it a little bit sooner, but you wouldn't want to put any uh, uh, equipment on it. You could burn it up, and I don't want to do that. That'd be a nightmare. Uh, I did not shoot any clear down the sides, uh, on the, only on the back, and then uh, shot a, a f five coats on the neck to build it. And as I had mentioned in the last video, I did do exactly what I said. I just took the brush and I brushed on two coats there and let it set. And then um, now you see the importance of just using clear, clear, clear. Uh, the only thing that has tint would be, you know, the black down here. So, um, and the reason I have this finger on here, I'm, let me just go ahead and talk about it and knock it out. Uh, in the event someone does not like the stinger, um, Right now, I believe there's a, approximately 10 coats of nitrocellulose clear up under that. So I will, I, I'm going to go ahead and do the stinger just because I think it's so rare and it's so attractive. But uh, whomever wins the auction, if you don't like that, um, I'll take some, um, uh, just a little bit of lacquer thinner and a razor blade, and I can razor blade that off and, and hit it with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper and shoot a few coats of clear identical to the way I did this down here and we would not get into any trouble with uh, any black residue I don't think it, it should be a really yeah it should be a really flat surface so we'll cross that bridge later on but uh, personally I think the the, the, the sear is really attractive and uh, I really want to leave it on there because to me it's kind of a signature and that's a very rare item. Uh, Steve and I were just uh, shooting uh, texts or emails back and forth through through this, the, uh, the YouTube site here. And uh, he was talking about how the first time he saw the singer when he was a kid or something, it was on a big body jazz guitar. And he's exactly right. That's typically where you see them is on the vintage jazz guitars. And just so, so attractive. Probably because, and I'm going to hold on to this baby. Probably because the headstocks are so so massive, and they've got all that built up the built up ears, and they have to cover that, and they have to hide all of that work. Okay, so uh, the guitar is. Uh, let me see if I can turn it. A little while ago, I, I, I did a, a test video to see how it looked on camera. The uh, the chatoyancy is just just so incredible you can actually kind of see the reflection right here you can see my hand in the reflection how it's beginning and that's not even buffed or sanded so you probably after this is all said and done you'd be able to get a uh, uh, a mirror finish uh, later on 
So, uh, but the chatoyancy is amazing. I love the way it goes from like this beautiful golden blonde all the way to this, uh, you know, hundred reddish orange strip back to the blonde. And then what's so cool, you turn it this way and all of a sudden the whole net gets dark. Now that's called chatoyancy. And that's, uh, that's what makes hundred mahogany so sought after. It's just such a beautiful wood. And that's the reason why I took the time to do all of this black separate from the neck. It would have been so much easier and probably would have brought just as much money in the cell if I'd have just shot the whole thing black. But uh, if you've built a lot of jazz guitars, like I've built a, uh, quite a few jazz guitars, and you just you kind of want to see the wood and the grain and all that jazz, if, if it's beautiful like that right there. And I think uh, whomever wins this guitar, there probably will be someone who really appreciates that kind of stuff. Or at least I hope so. And if they don't, hopefully it'll, it'll grow on them. So, uh, all right, let me check the time. I'm going to keep this video really short because I just want to update you know, that, basically. Uh, got the, I don't know if I showed it, but just have the fretboard you know, taped off, papered off, so no overspray gets on it. Uh, wouldn't have been the end of the world if it did because you just hit it with some uh, acetone or lacquer thinner and clean it off. But the less cleaning you have to do, the, the less likely you are to make a mistake. Um, I don't see the need in talking about it, but I had thought of, I had come up with the idea of since the back is turning out so beautifully, it, if someone elected to not do any machining on the back for the control cavity and they just they wanted to leave it all solid, because uh, the tap tones, now the tap tones are not going to change much even if you route out the control cavity. But if you didn't want to do any sort of uh, overly invasive routing on the back, you, I, I'm not saying I, I will do it or want to do it because truth be known, I don't want to do it, okay? But if you said, oh man, I don't know how to even plug a router up, could you, could you just do it from the front and then... Uh, so I say that to say this, I've got just, this is the largest piece I have left over and it is just barely large enough to do a, uh, say like a, a three eighths inch thick top or a little bit under three eighths inch, like a plate and then uh, contact adhesive cement this to that plate, machine it, fit it, drill some holes, drill some holes around the perimeter, maybe four holes and then that way everything would fasten the, from the front and you your control all your then you could go with the short CTS and they would be way up here and then that way you wouldn't have to route so deep in the top if you were wanting to do your own custom design then I'll send that plate and you can machine it yourself or if you say oh no I'm, I'm cool with your design let's just let's just route it out per your design, meaning my design, and then uh, let's do this plate on the top. Am I saying that I want to do this? I think I've already clarified I don't want to do this because this is about a day and a half worth of work, or at least a good day's worth of work, but it really would look really cool. And then I uh, could do the same control layout, or I could just send it as a blank, and then you could put in whatever you want, whether you wanted to put the three-way up there. I hope that makes sense. In other words, I would be sending you a plate that's about three-eighths of an inch thick, and then you could mount it uh, kind of like you would mount like a Strat uh, uh, pit guard. It would be like a pit guard, okay? So just let me know. We'll do that if you want, uh, again. Uh, or you could come in like this on the back side, just like a Les Paul would be done, and you cut it from the back and have the little small cavity in the back and then I would drill a hole through the front and then you could do something like a just like a little simple telecaster plate and then again I had already mentioned that you might want to just do a volume or a volume and a tone so sky's the limit uh, we'll, we'll build it together and I'll do as much as